Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to use Kovacs Sensitivity Matcher. A link to the download and other resources are in the description. The Sense Matcher is a versatile tool that can easily convert your sensitivity and centimeters per 360 measurement between games. The latest version also comes with the ability to measure the true CPI, also known as DPI, of your mouse, which we'll cover later in the video. To convert your sensitivity between games, head to the Select Preset Your dropdown and you'll be presented with a range of options. If the game or sensitivity scale you are converting from is listed here, you can select it and enter your in-game sensitivity into the sense field. So we'll choose Overwatch and we've chosen 4.4 sensitivity. If the game you're converting to is on the list, you can then select it and the number in the sense will be your sensitivity. So say we went to Quake Source for like CSGO or maybe Apex Legends, we can now see our sensitivity would be 1.32. If the game you are converting from isn't listed, you can select measure any game and follow a few simple steps to find that sensitivity. Firstly, you'll need to open your game and ideally head to a training ground type of area. For this example, I'm in Overwatch, but we'll just pretend it isn't listed and we need to use the measure your game feature to find my sensitivity for the calculator. In your non-listed game of choice, Head to a corner or line on a wall and line up your crosshair with it. Press Alt plus forward slash, then perform a careful 360 degree revolution and return to your starting position and hit Alt forward slash again to stop measuring. In most cases, this measurement will generally be close enough to your real sensitivity, but if you want it to be perfectly precise, you can iterate further on this. To see how close we got, we line ourselves up and hit Alt plus backspace to check the accuracy. You can also hit Alt plus Shift plus Backspace to perform 22 revolutions back to back, which will give us a better idea of how accurate it really is. In this example, our crosshair fell a tiny bit short. So to rectify this, we can iterate with Alt and minus and Alt and plus. Our crosshair stopped short, so we hit Alt plus. Line ourselves up again and hit Alt Backspace or Alt Shift Backspace to check the new measurement. If you overshoot, you hit Alt minus. If you undershoot, you hit Alt plus. It may take a fair bit of back and forth, but you'll eventually nail your exact sensitivity. Now that we have measured our sensitivity through the measure any game option, we can get to converting. If the game we're converting to is on the list, we can simply select it and the number in the sense field is the in-game sensitivity for that game. If your game isn't on the list, you don't need to change anything in the calculator Simply open up your game and find a spot on a corner or wall like before and hit Alt plus Backspace. Depending on how much you overshot or undershot, make trial and error changes to your in-game sensitivity until it matches up with the spins from hitting Alt and Backspace. In the example on screen, I was converting 5% in-game sensitivity from Battlefield 5 to Overwatch. But once again, pretending Overwatch wasn't listed. As you can see, my initial sensitivities were a little bit too low, so we'll bump it up to 4.2, hit Alt Backspace, and we're still under shots, so we might try something like 4.4, Alt Backspace again, and we've overshot, so maybe something like 4.35, should be pretty close. So we'll try that one out, and we've overshot a tiny amount, so maybe just 4.34. And that's pretty much spot on. There's a tiny amount of drift, so we can try going down maybe to 4.33. That might be a bit too much. Yeah, so that's undershooting. So the closest we can get to is about 4.34 in this example. Some games will block access to tools like the Sense Matcher, so we're not going to be able to use it. Fortunately, as long as we know the yaw value of the game, we can still convert our sensitivity. If you do some googling around, you can typically find the yaw value for just about any game. Take Valorant for example. It blocks the tool, but we can simply enter the sensitivity of the game we're coming from, or measure the sensitivity, and then type in the known yaw value, which is 0.07, hit enter, and now we have our Valorant sense. Moving on now, we'll take a look at the measure CPI feature. Most mice won't actually be running at their listed CPI. There tends to be some degree of drift from this value in either direction. In my case, with all mice set to 800 CPI, 
I have a Zowie FK1 that is actually 770 CPI, a Model O that is 760, and a Model D which is 815. This can cause problems when trying to maintain a sensitivity between different mice and when comparing your settings to other players. To have the same centimeters per 360 between my Model O and Model D, I'd need to change from 5 in-game Overwatch to 4.68, which is quite a significant difference. To use the tool, you'll need to create a setup where you can move your mouse 5 inches in a perfectly straight line without the mouse wiggling or moving in any unintended directions, as even slight imperfections in the measurement can throw up wildly different results. I like to push the mouse flush against the edge of a mouse pad to keep the X axis consistent, and for the Y axis and to remove any wiggle, I also put my phone flush against the mouse pad and mouse. And finally, there's a rule of place to guide the distance. With the Calibrate Mouse CPI button selected, you can either click it to start or hit spacebar. I recommend using spacebar to make things easier. Hit spacebar once, move your mouse exactly 5 inches and hit space again. In this example, my mouse is set to 900 CPI and I end up with 920. You will want to perform this multiple times to be sure of the result. The final thing we'll cover is finding the yaw value of any game which can be handy for focal length scaling conversions, which we'll have a link to in the description if you're interested. To find the yaw, select measure any game, find your perfect 360 revolution, and then type your in-game sensitivity into the yaw field. Then select swap sense and yaw from the dropdown, and the new number in the yaw field is the yaw value for that game. We hope you found this video helpful, and if you have any questions, comments, or topics you'd like us to cover, please let us know.